Right, so in preparation for getting a new lithium battery, I'm checking the alternator out of the 1100G to make sure that all the bits are good. Um, they're a little different. It has a field winding, so there's a couple of brushes inside this bit I'm touching here that runs off battery current and it charges the rotor. So I've got to check the voltage, or the resistance of the rotor. Make sure that's good. Uh, they, those create the magnets and then the static field coils around the outside generate the electricity. Uh, I need to check the diode, which is this piece around here. And I have also want to do a cursory check on the transistor bit here. Uh, this modifies the voltage. I think it adjusts the voltage going to the field coils, which reduces it so that it gets it to about the right level. It's supposed to be 14 volts. I know it's higher. It's over 14.5 on this one, higher on an older one. So I want to see which bit is working and which bit isn't. All right, so we're going to start with the rectifier, which is this piece. I've set the multimeter to the diode, and you kind of have to do that. You can't use the kilo ohm settings. You've got to use the diode settings. So I've already been through this once. I know to put the red on ground. And then I'm going to put the black probe on these each. I've got 470. 470. 470. And then on the red one, it should be double. 914, roughly. And if I swap the leads around, it should be open circuit like this. And it is, and it is, and it is, and it is. So I don't need to check anymore. That's good. Yeah, one more check I need to do on this is the field windings. So I'm going to measure between the three field windings. So there's one, it's 0.3 ohms. I'm going to measure to the outside. So I'll skip over to the outside one. 0.3 and I'll move this one to the middle one. 0.3 ohms and change. So the resistances on all these are good, so I'm sure it's generating electricity. Okay, so to check the volt the uh, resistance of the rotor, I've got to take the brush set off. So I've got to undo this one that one and that one. And it looks a little bit brutal because I'm using a um, one of these dudes. I've forgotten the name right off the hand. Impact wrench. There we go. But the heads are very soft and it just takes a little tap. And they loosen up without rounding the heads out. So that's what I'm doing here. That one's small enough, it'll just go twisting. Okay, so I've got the screws out. It pulls backwards and upwards a little. Here's the brushes. Uh, there's a minimum height of two tenths of an inch for these, these two brushes. Those look well beyond that, so I don't think there's any problem there. I will measure them in a bit. Uh, and then over here we have the whoops there's two slip rings on this rotor so I'm going to measure the resistance of the rotor right so I have it on kilohms this time instead of diode and you just need to make contact on both of these six ohms Alright, so now I'm going to use this depth side to just measure the height. And I'm getting 10 millimeters sticking out there. The other side looks about the same. It's a little harder to get to that one, but they look very similar. The minimum's 4.5 millimeters, so clearly I've got plenty of carbon left after 80,000 miles. Okay, I'm not sure what good this check will do, but I checked it on the other one. And 
boxes from the ground screw over to the disc screw which goes to the brushes and I've got 4.11 kilos. So for the two generators I have, uh, this one's off the second hand engine I bought. This is the original one that came with the bike. Uh, this one's probably performing a little better, slightly lower voltage over 14.5. Uh, when this one's running up to speed it's 15.3, 15.5 volts, which is probably boiling a battery to death. Um, so I know this one isn't particularly good. I suspect the only difference between them are in the IC circuits, the integrated circuit that controls the voltage, so it's the voltage regulator. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get a voltage regulator for one of these, maybe from Rick's Electronics or somewhere that will cut that volt down so I can use a lithium ion battery. Uh, they say 14.6 max for a kinetic one. A bit higher for a battery tender, but they've stopped making them 